Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good December. It was a busy week this week here at City Hall. We had uh, our council meeting, and not only was it a council meeting, but it was our approval of the budget for 2020. It's a massive budget of $3.7 billion. We're a large city with over a million in population. There are four key themes in the budget that we can consistently hear about. Services, uh, snow clearing, transit, and housing. Those are uh, were our main focus. Uh, it was important to see some investments, not as much as we wanted. It's a budget that does a lot, uh, a little bit for everyone, but it doesn't solve the, the fundamental four. So we'll continue to work on this with our community, with uh, our colleagues here at City Hall. Another important uh, element was the term of council priority. I actually think that this year that's even more important than the city budget. It sets out the strategy over the next four years as to where our priorities will be, where we're going to invest. And they have, uh, there's six themes. They go from economic growth, to thriving communities, to environmental stewardship, to service excellence, to sustainable infrastructure, and to thriving workforce. Those are six key themes, and we'll share with you some of the highlights that are most meaningful to our community. There's a lot of strategies in the term of council priority that apply citywide. Uh, I'll mention a couple, but really uh, what I wanted to focus on is in our neighborhood. One of the ones that impact us in the neighborhood and citywide is housing. It was important for me to bring a direction to staff so that both on an urban planning, as you know, we're reviewing our official plan, that we prioritize rental housing across the city. If we have rental housing and capacity, then we could start introducing a little more affordability. And that's the second piece to it, is really having a better understanding as what are our objective? How many new units will we see in the city that will be affordable? That's a target that the social services group need to develop, especially the housing team. So really looking uh, in terms of a housing strategy. We're here in the Byron Market, I keep talking about it. In my mind, it's a citywide strategy, but obviously being the representative for Lower Town, Sandy Hill and Vanny, it's important for me to see that element. It really means uh, that the, the report that's coming in the spring of 2020, in April, to speak about the public spaces in the Byron Market, will will has a as a strategic lens and uh, has council support. So we'll work to that. Uh, happy to see it in the term of council priority this year. Another important priority is to remove the interprovincial trucks that do no business in our city's core, going from the interprovincial bridge here at uh, McDonald Cartier to the 417. Two strategies: a tunnel that be the provincial responsibility, Ministry of Transportation of Ontario has a duty to connect 400 highways to the interprovincial crossing. If not, it's a federal responsibility to build a bridge. One of the two need to happen. Uh, we're seeing a different movement on that. It's important to, for council to reaffirm those issues. Infrastructure, especially recreation infrastructure, we know how important it is for our community to have access to pools, to community centers, to gyms, to arenas. Uh, there is a fulsome strategy that's taken place. That will be an important file that I care about locally. We have aging infrastructure, uh, we have growth in our community. People are demanding better programs, better services, so we'll be working on that throughout the term. I want to thank you uh, for your engagement as part of these, this year's budget and term of council priority. We will post the final document which will be available in days to come on our website and on social media.